Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to show you the Laser Packer 2 cutting materials. In my previous video, I showed you that the Laser Packer can engrave on multiple uh, types of material. But today's video is all about cutting. Uh, my last video is an unboxing video of my first use experience, so uh, a lot of things that I didn't know. Thanks to the Facebook community on uh, Blazer Packer 2, I managed to learn a lot more about this machine. So if you're looking to buy this product, I will put the link in the description. It's not 100% perfect machine. Hopefully I can show you what it can and what it can't do. If you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. The Laser Packer 2 does come with an exhaust fan here. It will create lots of smoke, especially if you are burning wood and uh, paper. So um, definitely do it in a well-ventilated area. Uh, in my case, I have it out of my um, studio window. So you have power, which is how strong the laser is and the depth. Now the depth is a bit confusing here from someone who already using a laser cutter. So the depth is actually how fast the laser is moving. So obviously if the laser is moving very slow and on full power, the wood will receive a lot of uh, energy at any one point. And that is good if you want to cut through a, a lot of material. But at the same time, if the laser stay on the wood for too long, it will start to burn. There is no easy way or rules to say what you need. A lot of other users on the Facebook group already done the hard work. Um, you just need to make sure you test um, the material first. For example, this one here is a wood cutout. I use a kind of a three mil uh, wood hobby kind of a wood from uh, Amazon. Um, I did manage to get some really, really good details, but the tiny, tiny details, no matter what I do, it kind of burns through. But I'm going to demonstrate all of that in this video for you. So let's say I really like this image on the internet and I want to cut it, so I copied it, import, open it with a uh, laser packer, press G code, it turns it into something that the computer will understand. You set the size that you want, so it takes some time to convert this into the G code, and then now transferring between these two. I literally screenshot this, and then crop, and then open with laser packer. Don't know if you can see it there, but if I increase the brightness, then you can see now the laser dot in the middle, so that's the middle of the print. Custom 35, 3 passes. I think that's about right, so let's start. I don't think we need 3 passes because I see it already cut through yep definitely cut through in fact I think this might be a bit too strong I probably can do with just 20 All right, now I'm going to stop because I think it has already cut through in one pass. I don't think I need that strong a power. But a very clean cut from the cardboard. Let me see what is on the table right now. So this is a bit delicate, so I'm going to use my forceps here. And you can see all this cutout shape are tiny details of what um, the car bodies and whatever remain here just a light push and they will all come off the paper because the burn they already burn through the paper in one pass so in the sense I'm lucky that you know I got the kind of power absolutely spot on enough to burn through the thing but not enough to ruin all the details and it just shows that if the laser is really well focused, like on the surface of the material, this can cut really, really fine. And there's no way I can do freehand with um, this kind of artwork. Or it might take me forever. But here, with a forcep, just a light touch to poke through. 
or like a uh, maybe I can use an air duster next time just blow it out of the paper and there we go and that's how you do a template from a screenshot on the internet and this is replicatable and you can replicate this as, as many times as you want and you can like range it the different size obviously I choose the same size as the last time I've done it the power level I think is slightly different this one was lower power but two passes this one is higher power with one pass and you can see that you know it doesn't really make that much different but definitely um, cutting cardboard is a lot better than cutting a thicker any kind of thicker material right so here we have cardboard and this is just old packaging from Amazon so this is 0 0.5 mil um, in um, thickness and you can do really interesting cutting from uh, paper now this one here I think is about 4 mil at some places and most of them are about 3 mil, 3.5 mil and it will be interesting to see what I can do with um, this so this video is going to be uh, fast forward because it's going to take a long time My first uh, botched up um, wooden house entirely cut by the laser packer too. Probably the worst example that you can get for cutting with this machine. All right, time to try something else. Since the wooden house looks a bit wonky, I'm going to go with something simple like cutting out letters for my name. I think this kind of cutting is what the machine is really really good at logos and a bit of like you know letterings and stuff like that as long as the file is good I think it will cut pretty well without touching it a lot it already dropped from the wood there is a little bit of holding resistance here now I do want to keep the letter, so I'm not going to press it too hard. And finally the end. Wow, this one seems to be stuck on a lot. And you can see that this part hasn't been cut. So that's what I mean with this machine for cutting a 3 mil wood. It's probably not strong enough for the edges. So the end at the end here needs a bit of touch up. Apart from that, it's cutting okay. Okay, so three mil pie, very difficult to cut, but it made it a small house made of three mil as well. And the paper cardboard cut, this is, this is what I think um, it really, really good at. Cutting cardboard and thin material. Obviously this is just 0 0.5 mil. And just to show off a few other houses that I have cut with the machine. And there we go. There we go. How about that? This is my little house. 
And um, yeah, I hope you like my video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel if you find my information useful. Um, like I say, I think the Laser Packer 2 comes a long way from the previous model. Um, but for cutting, I will stick to a thinner material and definitely experiment and uh, find the right setting for your material. Actually, I might use these things to decorate my house. Oh yeah. Like Assassin's Creed. I need some spray glue. Oh, there's a moon here. Another moon there. All right. Thank you very much. And I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye bye.